Editing videos with Canva is now more powerful than ever with easy to use tools at your fingertips. In this video, we'll learn how to edit and trim your videos, use filters and effects, and add transitions between your videos. So let's get started. Videos in the editor have scenes, making it easy to see and work with video and audio on the timeline. Increase or decrease a scene's length by dragging from either end, like this. You can also split scenes by using right-click. This breaks content into new scenes for flexible editing. To add video transitions, click the transition icon found between each video clip or scene. The transition sidebar will appear, where you can choose a video transition. Notice how you can hover over any transition to see a preview. Depending on the type of transition, you can adjust its duration, direction, and color. Like all designs in Canva, thousands of unique ingredients are just a click away. You can easily add text to videos by pressing the T key. Resize and edit styles in the toolbar, here. Let's add a shape behind the text to really make it pop, like this. Next, let's explore video filters and effects. Just select any video, then hit Edit Video in the toolbar. You'll find all of our video effects here, like Video Background Remover. Available to Canva Pro users, Video Background Remover will remove or replace the background of any video with just one click. It works best when you have a clear foreground object, like in this example. And you'll find video filters here too. Why not try a vintage look or black and white? You can also make advanced adjustments to filters here. Edit the white balance, light, color, and texture of your video until it looks just right. Now we have our video content ready, let's start to play with our story. First, let's add an intro slide. We can add a new page or scene to the project. Start with a template or design a new slide from scratch. Video introductions usually have a title, a logo, and some elements. Next, let's add an ending slide. Combined with an intro slide, this outro slide will act as a bookend. Let's duplicate the intro slide and move it to the end of our video and add the final information you want your audience to know. Now you know how to structure and arrange a video project in Canva, you'll be making screen-worthy content in no time. 